excited to uh, present to you our next speaker. She is a registered dietitian and the creator of To Be Mindset. And now, To Be Pregnant, everybody, please welcome Ilana Molstein. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. Thank you so much. You know what? You have been such a busy person in the last two years. I mean, first, um, you've helped so many people, including myself with Tubi Mindset and focusing on water and veggies and healthy weight loss. And now um, you're shifting gears to a healthy pregnancy and what to eat when you are pregnant. When did you decide that this was a must have program? Really, like eight years ago when I got pregnant with my first kid, Olivia, uh, my first of three. And at that point, I was down 75 pounds. I was leading weight loss seminars at UCLA. I was a registered dietitian. I had so many years of studying what to eat, even during pregnancy. But then when I became pregnant, it all kind of went out the window because nothing really spoke to what to deal with cravings like no no textbook actually covered cravings and nausea and exhaustion and indigestion and gaining a healthy not excessive weight gain right there was advice on you know weight gain ranges based on you know what weight you started at but not how not you know how to go about it and it was really really hard for me personally as someone who was focused on my personal weight loss and educating others to then not know anything about how to go about my pregnancy uh, and in a healthy way. I remember reading random pamphlets that my you know, gynecologist had in her waiting room and it just said, oh, when you enter your second trimester, start eating 500 more calories. And that was just very arbitrary advice. I was just thinking in my head as a dietitian and you know, who was working in private practice and help the, in private practice helping clients thinking 500 calories, is that the same for a woman who's 150 pounds as someone who's 250 pounds? Like, what does that even mean? And if I wasn't counting calories in my first trimester, how do I even know what 500 more calories looks like and where those calories should come from? So it really is a huge space that needed tapping into. And I had to really learn how to eat for a healthy pregnancy through my first pregnancy, my second, and now my third. And it's been an amazing journey doing the personal research, but then also taking on so many private clients who are pregnant over the past, you know, eight years and helping them navigate it through. And then also hearing now hundreds and hundreds of women who have done the 2B mindset, who become pregnant and really needing these answers you know, these questions answered. And I'm so thankful I've been able to take all the questions that I had, that my clients had, that everyone who messages me constantly on Instagram and TikTok and everywhere has, and be able to give the best possible answers collected within this program in like a very digestible, easy to understand, easy to follow fashion. That's just so incredibly helpful. I'm so, so glad you did that. I mean, I just remember going to the doctor and the doctor would just weigh me and just go, yeah, okay, you're about right. And I was like, but I wasn't told what to eat, how to eat, what was safe, what was good for the yeah. baby. And the so emphasis is always on what not to do. Like if you go to the doctor and you're pregnant, it's like, don't eat raw fish. Don't eat like smoked <laughs> meats. Don't, uh, don't drink alcohol. It's very like, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And it's it, it's really hard as a yeah. pregnant woman, especially if you were drinking your wine and loving your sushi before and, and you know, caring about how you looked in your jeans and your energy. And now all of a sudden it's like, oh, I can't eat the foods I want. I can't drink the things I want. I can't exercise some things I want. I used to do. There's so many negative, you know, restrictions around pregnancy. And this program is the opposite. I'm here to make pregnancy glorious and as fun and accessible as it could be. And listen, I'm not the the person who's pregnant who's like, I love my growing belly. I am I definitely have <laughs> the exhaustion. I have the nausea. I have the like, why are so many more stretch marks coming? Like I have it too. So you know, one of my best friends is expecting now and she looked at a video and she's like, it's just so helpful to see how pregnant you are because I'm filming the program seven months pregnant. And like, I really do understand it. I'm really going through it 
with you know the woman watching at home so I, I really walk you through like on those exhausted days where you don't want to cook and you're feeling eh, uh, <laughs> and you want to satisfy those chocolate and donut and bagel cravings what to do and and how to go about it in the way that will give you the most energy and and just feeling you know your best so i really 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 can't wait to hear the response from expecting mothers who watch this program well, you're the perfect person to uh, build this program. So thank you for that. And I stand corrected. It's not a couple years ago that To Be Mindset came out. It's four years ago, 2018. We are 2022 right now. I cannot believe it's been nearly four years. And uh, so, so take us through To Be Pregnant. Like comprehensively, what is it? To Be Pregnant is 16 bite-sized videos that are so easy to watch, even when you're exhausted and, and in every trimester. And it really is trimester specific, specific. We walk you through what to eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in trimester one, when you're maybe having a lot of like food aversions and maybe not needing a lot of those extra, you know, protein and calories that come on in the later trimesters and then you know in trimester two and three how that looks like when maybe your stomach is has a little less room and you still want to get your energy up and it really is very very specific to that we have videos based on what to do when you're nauseous what to do when you're exhausted exhausted, what to do if you're constipated, all the things that no one wants to talk about but really needs the answers to, I share with you within the program. We have 20 plus recipes that conquer your cravings, that can potentially help you relieve some symptoms that you might be having, um, and really just maximize your energy, your efficiency, your health, and your well-being. So I can't wait for people to get it. It comes with tracker sheets. It comes with bite-sized videos. You can watch it at your own pace um, whenever you wish, whenever you want, and you can have it for life. So you can and, you know, check back in in your next pregnancy and use it to help you there too, if you wish. Now you taught, you tackle food aversions. Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, in your first trimester, a lot of people just don't want to eat protein. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I can't look at chicken or broccoli in my first trimester. And that's fine. But one really interesting study that we came across in the research and development for To Be Pregnant was that protein can actually help relieve some uh, prenatal nausea that a lot of women experience. So while a lot of people are like, Ugh, I'm so nauseous and the last thing I want is chicken and meat, and, um, and uh, they're just keep eating maybe like bagels and bread. Well, it's true that actually maybe some protein could potentially help relieve that nausea. So I give you a lot of examples of how to still eat protein in a way that is kind of masked as like a chocolate cake or pudding. <laughs> so it's, it's really easy to kind of get the nutrition you need and that your growing baby can, you know, benefit from while tackling those cravings and making you feel your absolute best. Okay, cravings. I don't know how um, your pregnancies were, but I had a kid where I was craving salty foods the whole time. I had a kid where it was all sweet foods all the time. What, um, what are some of the recipes that satisfy salty or sweet cravings? So I definitely want everyone to just start watching the program now uh, because I don't want to overwhelm you, but I will tell you, we get salty, we get sweet, we tackle everything in this program. So when it comes to salty I, and like savory, I will show you two ingredient bagels that will totally do the trick. So you can eat bagels every day of pregnancy and still feel good, still get the protein you want, still get the fiber you need and, and, and satisfy your bagel cravings that are really neutral and easy to eat, especially when you just can't take in those like big heavy flavors and are really simple when you're so tired because it's only two ingredients. So we definitely have bagel recipes. I'll share with you, you know, when you just don't want to eat this like big meal, but you just kind of want to snack all day, how to do it in a healthy way with a supersized guacamole and, you know, lots of things to dip it with. So uh, definitely handle the salty stuff. I show you like, you know, pickles, hearts of palm, you know, lots of things that you can have rather than a bag of potato chips, but kind of can satisfy that like salty snacky thing that you're craving and wanting to experience. And when it comes to sweet, oh my gosh, like really, it's just, it goes on and on and on. Like amazing um, shakes. Like I loved 
Froos, I call them throughout my pregnancy, just like yummy, you know, chocolate shakes and smoothies because that can totally like just satisfy that like need for ice cream. I also felt like I saved a lot of money this third pregnancy compared to first and second when I was just going to Froyo uh, shops all the time and spending five dollars on ice cream that didn't even have protein in it. So we really, really show you within the program with you know accompanying recipes and throughout the program how to eat delicious satisfying foods but really keep you on track with a you know healthy pregnancy and it's really wonderful and i can't wait for all expecting moms to have it and for all coaches to have a tool in their toolbox to share with women when they're expecting so they can understand that they can still exercise when pregnant but you know what would make sense for them they could still tackle their cravings but be on track with their health goals and how to best do that Okay, I will stop right there because you're out of battery. Is that correct? Yes, okay. I'm running low. This is a a crazy day. As this is always. a crazy day, and as, you're doing... as a busy mom, and and we're all doing it. We're all juggling a million things. You're and... you're. Um, I do want to get two more questions in. Is there a way okay. you can grab your plug? Yes. yes, we're grabbing the plug. We're making it happen. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. This is Thank awesome. You so much. This is uh, the the father. There was there was another uh, person. There was involved. another father. There was another person involved in in making the two be pregnant. You, you should get more credit. <laughs> okay, Thank you. To go now. Okay, and yeah. I can definitely I I can edit that, but it was adorable. Um, so thank you for that for the sweet and salty cravings. Are you plugged in? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, Okay, the question that everybody's been asking is, uh, this is clearly a program for women who are expecting. Are there benefits or, or, or can anyone else benefit from this program? I get asked that question a lot. You know, one of the nice things is that we filmed with a crew of, you know, maybe like 30 people on set. There's a, a lot of people help me um, in the making of this program. And, you know, we have lots of recipes and, and lots of food that we called the food in the program, our co-stars, because the food had a bigger makeup and hair crew <laughs> than I did. We had lots of, you know, people helping on board. And it was really interesting because I was the only expecting mother that I know of on set. And so many people benefited from just listening to the information. Um, you know, we had a lot of, we had a couple of girls on set, you know, in their twenties who were listening in on the information and saying, wow, this actually makes me kind of excited to get pregnant one day. Uh, and, and we had even just males on set who were helping with maybe audio or camera who were like, wow, everything you said about, you know, creating a breakfast with protein and fiber really makes a lot of sense for just energy and satisfaction. So there's definitely nutrition advice and tidbits within the program that can be beneficial for all people. But of course, it is designed for expecting mothers. I can say, though, that, um, you know, a lot of women who do the 2B mindset program are asking, are there videos within to be pregnant that we could benefit from? And I can tell you that we made a cravings video that I really think is top notch. The cravings video within to be pregnant is really incredible and I think would be beneficial to anyone, uh, especially maybe like women who have a lot of PMS or hormonal related cravings. I, I think that, you know, you could definitely benefit from it, but it is certainly catered to pregnant uh, and expected women or women who are looking to become pregnant. Okay, great. Now I two two more things. Um as with any program with someone who is pregnant, they need to check with their doctor first, of right? Course. Is there something that you would like to say to this audience about any nutritional program while you're pregnant? Yeah, listen, I Ideally, you, um, you know, to any woman who isn't pregnant yet, I always recommend, you know, to a private client or to a friend that you even have an appointment with an OBGYN before you get pregnant, right? Like even like six months before, a year before, it's a good idea, you know, if you're thinking about becoming pregnant later on, like what can you do in advance? A lot of doctors will do a workup. They might look at your labs. They might, you know, tell you what's going on. They might suggest you already start taking a prenatal supplement. So it's a really good idea, even before you become pregnant, to meet with your doctor and then to feel comfortable with that doctor so that you can be followed by that same doctor throughout, you know, your 
birthing experience um, and that whole process. It's really important that you have a doctor that you're working with, that you're seeking advice from, and that you are always using first and foremost for all your medical needs and questions. This program is to help accompany, accompany your you know, experience, but throughout the program, I'm going to recommend that you are constantly checking in with your doctor. Because when I'm talking about, let's say, tips for nausea, you know, I, I'm giving you advice that can potentially help the general pregnant population who experiences mild to moderate nausea. But if there's severe nausea, it could be a bigger thing and you will absolutely have to consult with your doctor first and foremost. So that is something that everyone needs to know going into the program, of course, of course, of course, and something I constantly reinforce throughout the program. Good advice. You know, I hope your program becomes the official go-to program for OBs because yes. all, all they do is say, you know, stay off the sushi, you know, and take your prenatal vitamin. Like there's nothing more that they say. It's, it's Well, they true. have a lot of other things they're focusing on. So that's, you yeah. know, it, it really, you know, Doctors and dietitians have always worked together. In the clinical setting, a dietitian is part of the medical team, not the medical team. And the doctor isn't the only one in the medical team also. So, um, yes, I, I highly recommend if you're – please, if you are benefiting from the To Be Pregnant program and you're seeing that it's, you know, giving you a much healthier, happier, and better pregnant experience than you might have had in the past or that you just expected to have – Please share the program with your doctor as well, because I really think OB, GYNs throughout the country will be so grateful for a program like this because it really doesn't exist of a registered dietitian created nutrition pregnancy program developed by someone who has not only been pregnant and thank God, thank God, thank God has three healthy pregnancy and deliveries, but also is pregnant within the program. So really, really. Yes. Gets it. Yes, agreed. Um, talk about the similarities with to be mindset and to be pregnant. Like what are some things that are similar and and how do these work together? Well, in terms of format, you know, we definitely saw to be mindset as a highly successful program. Thank God. Um, we're so grateful for it because it's changed hundreds of thousands of people's lives now. So it's video based. Uh, similarly to the to be mindset, it is video based and it really does walk you through you know, what to eat in a simple, easy to understand way. Uh, you know, four years later, you know, we filmed To Be Mindset four years ago. We filmed To Be Pregnant four years later when I've had a lot more experience and even just my development team, you know, Caitlin, Lisa, like we're, we've all had a lot more experience working together. So I'd say that the production value and the, you know, tightness and easy to digest and understandness of the program is even better um, in a lot of ways or just newer than To Be Mindset. And so it's definitely, you know, concise, easy to understand, easy to follow program videos. And it definitely also comes with accompanying PDS like the To Be Mindset program. Just like the To Be Mindset program, I have and created this plated system. So I created a plated system so you never have to weigh or measure or count calories or macros when eating and designing your foods. You just style your plate in a way that works best for your health and your energy based on the time of day that you're eating. So just like in To Be Mindset, where I have a plated method for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I have the same thing for you know, I pregnified it for the to be pregnant program, which is different in terms of how you're going to plate your meals. And it's also going to be different, not only in how you plate your meals for pregnancy, but also trimester specific. So not only are there videos speaking to how you should, you know, how not you should, how I would recommend you best eat, you know, for each trimester, but it also comes with PDF sheets. So you could actually be using your tracker in accompaniment with the program and absolutely do it best. So it's really amazing. Like I, 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 it's incredible. Like just dreaming and thinking about the pregnant woman at home who's watching these program videos, who's actually printing out the tractor sheets and really using them every day on her counter as she goes through the 40 week experience. It just really makes me very excited uh, and thankful to, you know, just envision how wonderful that experience could be, how helpful and exciting that could be for her and like in control of the cravings and feeling really great. So, you know, I'm very excited to hear the, you know, incoming testimonials that I hope we have, you know, in the next couple of weeks. 
You know what's so great? I was just thinking about paying it forward. Like after you have a baby, people go, what stroller did you have? What is this? What is this? Why don't people say, what were you eating while you were pregnant? Oh, well, you should be on To Be Pregnant. That is like the program that changed me. So I hope that yours becomes part of the whole entire, you know, universe of, of eating healthy, uh, while you're pregnant. I'm so excited for this program. Me this is too. a huge, huge day for you. Congratulations Thank again. You. I love, I love seeing you. It makes and me so happy because I think my daughter would be, I think my daughter wishes we would have a hundred babies and I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. So I feel like this is my way of having hundreds and hundreds of babies or being, being part of that experience a little bit. It, it, it's like, I'm so excited to just meet like babies, um, out and about and the moms tell me like she heard you while she was oh, in my movie <laughs> yeah. well i think that you just developed the prequel to to be mindset so like you're yeah. really smart <laughs> or, 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 or prequel to to be kids maybe one day and yes uh, you heard it here you heard it here first folks okay i'm um really excited have a great day congratulations on the launch you. and okay. um see you soon All righty, let me take, let me remove that from the stream. That was so exciting. And I want to just remind everybody, if you didn't see it at the beginning of the show, that today in about a little over an hour, there's a live pre and postnatal bar workout event with Alana and Elise. There's going to be time for Q&A. I know a lot of you have been asking questions on Facebook, and I'm going to um, ask the, the marketing team to come back and answer here on the, the 411 page on Facebook. Uh, but this is the launch date. So everything happens from this day forward. The coach office is going to have more tools. Testimonials are going to start coming in uh, in the next few weeks uh, so that you can talk about it. So I know that many of you are saying, I wish I had it when, but now we have it. So now you can pay it forward. Now you can help your customers who are expecting and you'll be the star of the next uh, baby shower that you go to with your gift. Anyway, that is it for today's call. Thank you so much for joining. We'll see you here next week. Bye.